Take a look at these two runners. We'll call them red shirt and green shirt. Watch them for a moment. Who is faster? If you said they're traveling at the same speed, you would be correct. Now let's watch again, only this time slower. Even though these two runners are clearly traveling at the same speed, are they taking the same number of steps? Watch carefully for a moment. Which one appears to be stepping more frequently? Hopefully, you can see that green shirt is stepping more often or more frequently. In running circles, it, it would be said that he's running with a higher cadence. But for a physics classroom studying waves, it makes more sense to think about it as just running with a higher frequency of steps. Now, it may not be quite as easy to see in this video, but green shirt is not only taking more steps more often, but he's also taking shorter steps. The shorter steps in running circles would be called stride length, but here we'll use it as an analogy for wavelength. Just like a runner's speed is determined by the frequency of his strides and the length of his strides, the speed of a wave is determined by the frequency of the wave and the length of the wave, which we call wavelength. 